Hi everybody, Heather from New Zealand here. Today I'm going to talk about rebooting my Fly Lady system. I've been doing Fly Lady for a little while. I've seriously got on track, off track, so I'm bringing it back round again. I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to do the basics. So if you're the same as me and you're wanting to restart again, or maybe you've never heard about the Fly Lady, but you want a really easy and simple version of the system that she does, keep watching. So I want to keep it really simple and I want to keep it really basic. So what are the absolute basics? What are the fundamental habits that the fly lady has that really underpin everything else? For me, there's three of them. Shine your sink, keep your, keep your sink shiny, a load of laundry, every day a load of laundry, and number three is getting dressed to shoes and having yourself respectable you know so if somebody knocks on the door you don't die and you don't feel bad about yourself um, and also you know when you pass a mirror you don't go ah <laughs> so those are the three basics ones I'm gonna take a week give myself a whole week for those three habits to really focus on them yes I'm gonna do other things of course I'm gonna do other things around when I get a chance um, and as I said, I've been doing the Fly Lady system for a while, so a lot of those other things have uh, are you know right in front of me and ready to do. Um, but I'm going to just focus on those three. As always, the Fly Lady to says to get your morning routine up and going. So that's where I'm going to start with my rebooting. I'm going to start where she starts with the 31 steps, and that is to shine my sink to get my. Um, kitchen bench with the sink back in control. I'm not going to go for the whole kitchen, that's too much, too fast. I'm just going to go for the sink. If I've got the sink good and under control, I might go along to that whole bench and have that whole bench looking good. Have a place where I can can go and stand and it, and it brings me joy like okay, this the dishes are done, the sink's ready. I've I've got some um a positive place in the house to be. Um, it's really important to um, to break these things down into little little lumps. Sorry, that's my clock going off. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my sink. Keeping that sink clean during the day is uh, is going to be something else I'm focusing on. I'm not just going to clean it once and then have it all build up to the end of the day, then cook dinner, and then maybe get too tired to do the dishes, and then go to bed, and then the next day, I've got a huge pile to um, face, because that's just soul destroying. <laughs> and it's not the idea behind the fly lady. The fly lady is doing a little bit, and a little bit, and a little bit, so all those little bits accumulate. So rather than flying low down here with everything undone but still working really hard you're flying up here with everything done and kind of bouncing along the top and keeping it in order so with the sink first of all you've got to get in there you've got to do the work that is involved in getting it clean then you focus on keeping it up to date those few dishes in the sink that appear quickly put them in the dishwasher during the day um, one thing I find really helpful is before I start to cook dinner or prepare dinner or maybe cook some, you know, do a load of baking or whatever, always start with a clean kitchen. So if there's a few things lying around, I'll put them away. Then at the end of my baking session or cooking session, um, I don't have extra things there that I've added to and I start to kind of look at it and go, oh, too big, can't do it. So I'm going to do that as well. Before I start a project in the kitchen, I'm going to make sure I've got a clear, clear surface to start with. My last one connected with the sink, which I want to focus on, is the evenings. I find those particularly difficult. They, um, I'm usually tired, it's the end of the day, I'd really rather sit down and do my knitting and watch telly and be with the family than doing the dishes. So I'm calling on reinforcements. I'm going to get the family to do the dishes with me. They ate off the plates, they can clean the plates. Because if they don't, who gets to pay the price for that? Me, in the morning, if the dishes aren't done, when I have to get up and face them. 
Now, I'm going to be gentle with myself. I'm going to give myself a whole week to get my head around this, to get this working as a system. I'm not going to um, push myself, hassle myself, stress myself. A whole week to get this going, a whole week to to maybe do it a few times and, and, and think of ways that I can make it easier for myself and keep it clean. Just keep touching in with it during the day, last thing at night, first thing in the morning. Just keep touching it, touching in, touching in. So I've got to do it lots of tiny times rather than a huge big time. The next problem I find is the laundry. I don't know how we get so much laundry. Um, it doesn't feel like we wear that many clothes, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a monster, the laundry. <laughs> You turn away for two seconds or you miss a load or something and it just seems to be a lot. And what's more, it takes a lot of energy to catch up and get back to where you want to be with your laundry, which ideally is doing small loads frequently. So my routine for my laundry is going to be this. In the morning, um, I put a load of laundry in. Doesn't matter what it is, it can be anything. It can be whites, it can be darks, it can be woolies, it can be towels, it can be sheets, it can be whatever needs doing that morning. Get the laundry machine running. Um, first thing in the morning. Then when, I've, um, when I'm dressed, when I've had breakfast, when um, I've got all my other morning routine things done, I can hang that laundry out so I don't know whether you put your laundry on the line or whether you put it in a clothes horse or in the dryer whatever you need to do put it out to dry then forget about it that's laundry ticked off your list the next thing around about afternoon tea time I like to do this maybe when the kids have come back from school um, or maybe when you've come back from work bring in and put away everything that's dry What's not dry, obviously, you leave on the clothes horse or out on the line or wherever it is you leave it or put it in the hot water cupboard. Um, then at dinner, put another load in. Now that load in the evening that you put in, that load, what I do with it, is leave it in, put it in in the evening, leave it there overnight. In the morning, when I get come in to put my first load in for the day, I pull out that load from last night, put it in the basket. That waits there until that second load, that load that I've just put in in the morning comes, and then I add that to it, and it goes through the process. So that's my laundry system. Yours might be different, I don't know, but that's the laundry system that I like to use. And if I do that religiously, if I do that every day, even on a Sunday, which is a day of rest, um, I find my loads get smaller, the job gets smaller, it takes less time to hang it out, it takes less time to fold it and put it away. Um, and again, a bit like the dishes in the kitchen sink, the laundry becomes a smaller job. So I'm a little bit behind, so it's going to take me a couple of days of big loads, big putting away. But it doesn't take long before you get into that going faster cycle. So that's my second thing, shine my sink load put in a load of laundry every day and then during the day obviously you have to reboot it to put it away and put that second load in the next thing I'm really going to focus on is dressed to shoes I know the fly lady says it all the time and it's so easy to get distracted oh I'll just do this I'll just do that oh especially if you've got kids you know just do this just do that but I'm going to have those clothes ready for me the night before. I'm going to put out my clothes. I'm going to have them ready for me and I'm going to step into them. Now, those clothes might not be um, my going to town clothes. They might be um, just comfortable clothes, not scruffy. Don't go scruffy. Don't go scruffy. Scruffy just makes you sad. Smart, comfortable. So if visitors came unexpectedly, you would feel happy to invite them in and sit around and feel presentable. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's my um, goal for the week is to focus on those three things. Will I do other things? Of course I'll do other things as well. But those are the ones that I want to train my brain. Because that's what we're doing, let's be honest. We are training our brain to do this habitually so it becomes easier and easier. 